what's up guys, back again with another video in the Java FX series. In this episode I'll be teaching you how to make stages and windows inside of your uh, Java FX applications. Um, a stage is another name for a window if you don't know already. And so yeah, let's get right into it. So what we have here is just a simple program here. I already made my Java, uh, Java FX application. Um, we're just using the main class here and then extending application. If you don't know what this is, by the way, just go ahead and watch last episode and the episode before that. So I think I told you before, but whenever we create the start method for our application, we can also provide a stage here as the parameter. And this is going to be the stage that is created whenever the application starts. So we get to basically have a free stage. We don't have to create it by ourselves. And this stage is going to represent the main stage for our program. This is going to be the main application window um for the program so we can change it you know give it some properties by doing stage not capital stage dot and there's a bunch of methods here to change the values and just whatever for the stage we can change a bunch of stuff so the most basic one is the title so we can set the title for the stage so we can say um a cool window something like that very simple and then of course if we want the stage to actually show up when we run the program we have to do stage dot show don't forget that um so we can run this here and let's see what we get and we get a cool window here that's called a cool window and pretty simple right pretty standard looking window nothing inside of it yet because we haven't learned that but we do have the window it's called a cool window and we can exit out and it's going to close the program so that's pretty cool but let me show you how to create a stage in case you don't want to use the stage that comes with the application let's say you want to make a new window or you know just anything like that right so yeah if you ever want to make a new window all you got to do is do stage and then give it a name i'll call it stage 2 is equal to new stage so we're just creating a new stage object, pretty standard. Control P to see the parameters. And we can provide a stage style if we want to, but we're not going to do that yet. So that's how you create the stage. Then of course we can do what we did a second ago and then change some of the stuff that is you know comes with the stage. So we can do stage.set title, second window, um, and then we want to show it to get it to pop up. So if we want two stages or two windows to be on the screen at the same time, all we gotta do is this pretty much. So we can see, wait, oh wait, we did the wrong thing. We did stage instead of stage two. There we go, stage two. So as you can see here, we have two stages or two windows. And this is the main one first, um, the, a cool window. And then we have a second window, which is going to be our new stage that we just created. So besides creating new stages, you can also size it and then also change the position of the window. So you can you know, change the location of the window and then you can also change how big the window is. So first, let's go through sizing it. So we'll just change the size of the second one that we just created. So we'll do, um, well, let's go ahead and do it before we show it. So let's have it already um, set up before we even show it in the first place. So we'll do stage two dot, and then we can either set the width or the height of the stage. So if you want to set the the you know the width, for example, we can do width, and then we can provide the amount of I, th I believe pixels that we want to size it. Um, so we could do 500, for example, um, or we could do 700. So 700 pixels for the width. I'm assuming it's pixels. Um, seems pretty. That makes sense. So then we could do the the height. We'll do 100. So it should be 700 by 100. And yeah, oh, there we go, there we go. So we get the second window, which is 700 by 100. So 700 pixels across and then 100 uh, pixels up and down, okay? Pretty cool. So my screen here is about, or it's the resolution of 1980 by 1080? Wait, no, 1920 by 1080. So let's see what happens when we do that. Um, if we can make it full screen in that sense. So wait, let me think. Yeah, 1080. So let's see if that fills the screen. I don't know if it works like that or not, because that's just a resolution. Um, so, okay, kind of does, yeah, pretty much. So that's, okay, pretty interesting. But anyway, that's how you size a screen or size a window. You can do that to any of your windows, any of your stages, doesn't matter. So we could have done it to the first one if we wanted to. We could do it to a third one, doesn't matter. So that's how you size it. So let's change it to something more permanent. We'll do 400 by 300, pretty small. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it looks pretty good. A little small window here. So now let's show you how to change the position of the window. So let's say we want the window to appear instead of in, f in the middle. Let's say we want it to appear up here, right? So we can get to appear up here, up here, up, wait, up here, up there. I don't know, English. But anyway, so if we want to change the location of the window, we could simply do stage to dot, and then we could do set x and then set y. So, um, so if you want to set the x, that's going to be the horizontal axis. So obviously left to right, horizontally. And if you want to set the Y, that's going to be vertical, so up and down like that, okay? So usually when you're working with the locations in terms of a computer screen, it's going to be um, kind of different to actually how you would do it in math. So if you want it to be like right here, 
um, that would probably be about 200 pixels so if you want to set the X to 200 we could do that and let's say we want it to be down about this far so that would probably be 500 pixels because the size of the screen is about 1080 I guess or you know, 1000 I don't know so we could try 500 see what happens so set Y 500 so it should go down 500 so let's try that out okay that's kinda accurate so what I was looking for so we can see that from here that's 200 right and then downward that's 500 pixels okay or I don't know what the unit is again probably pixels but anyway so yeah 500 200 by 500 that's how you do it so if you want it to be this far it would be like uh, maybe 500 by 500 or oh, that's the middle probably that's probably the middle somewhere at least close to it so we could do 600 by 600 you know you get the point right so that's how you do that um, so let's try another number we could do um, let's try and get it over here so that would be probably about 700 for the X let's say we want it to be um, all the way down here so we could do like a thousand let's see what happens in that case okay oh yeah so it's down here not very accurate not really that close <laughs> to what I was looking for but that's pretty good we got it to go down all the way like we wanted to so yeah the X was off but the Y was on pretty much okay so that's pretty simple that's just how you you know change the location of a window in Java FX um, so let's just set this to something we could work with so we'll do like 50 by 100 okay so the next part I want to show you is kind of a weird concept but um, it's called modality or modality I don't know how to pronounce it but it's like this modality Modal, yeah, it's for modals, I guess you would call it. So modality, something like that. Anyway, so so basically this will represent how you want the applications to interact with each other. So for example, um, if we use, let's just go ahead and create a new window here. Let's just go ahead and create a new stage for this example here. So stage uh, new window is new window is equal to new stage. Okay, pretty simple. And then we'll do new window dot show like that so whenever you want to give a window its modality I'm gonna just call it modality from now on because I don't know how to say it but whenever you want to do that all you gotta do is do new window dot init modality init modality okay alright so now inside of here we can provide an enumeration I believe it's an enumeration I'm not sure but it looks like it so we can do modality and then dot and then we have three options we have application modal we have none and then we have a window modal okay so those are the three options for the modality for your window so for example if you choose application modal what this will do is that other windows cannot be used until this one is closed so let me show you an example of that so again this is going to make it so that other windows in your program cannot be used or messed with at all until this one is closed okay so let me show you an example of that so file and then we could open up a setting here so we have this little window that just popped up, right? And we can use it however we want to, but we cannot use this other window anymore. See, it's, it's like, you know, it's saying, it's saying, please don't touch me. You can't use this right now, right? So we can't even interact with the old window anymore until we're done with this window. Watch, boom, and then now we can mess with it, right? And let's go ahead and move this, by the way, up here, because uh, just to put it in order. So this window is going to show, and then this one's going to show right, right after, basically on top, hopefully. So let's try running this and see what happens. Hopefully it works like we want it to. So we get three windows here. As we can see here, the window that we just created with the modality is on top. So if we try messing with any of these other windows, we cannot. We can mess with other applications, but, but we cannot mess with other windows while this one is open. So we can close this one, and then now we uh, these other ones pop up, right? So we can mess with these as long as we want to. But yeah, that's how the application modal modality, modality works. All right, so the next one is going to be modality.none which is going to be basically the default value where you know you can interact with any window no matter what so that's you know the basic default value but also we have the third one here so modality dot window modal so this is going to be very similar to the application modal so this is going to make it so that you cannot mess with the window that owns this window until this window is closed basically so I know that's a little confusing but what we can do here is set it so that one window owns another window so we can make it so that for example this window here the main window is going to be the owner of this sub window here because obviously this window just came from this window so it's you know it makes sense for this window to own this window right so the way this would work is this window cannot be interacted with until this one is closed but any other window within our program that pops up can be interacted with because it's not owned um, there's no owner you know relationship between those two windows right so if we want to do window modal let's see what happens here So we get all three windows here and we can mess with the other windows that we have here, right? And that's because we have not set an owner for this window. So we can give it an owner if we want to. So we can do new window 
dot set owner owner get owner init owner okay so we can give it a window I mean an owner so we could do init owner and we can just choose any of these other two windows that we have so we'll do stage two okay so that's gonna be the owner of this new window that we just created so we can run this now and the way it should work is we cannot interact with stage two now because that's the owner okay so we have three windows here this is gonna be the the child of this owner window and it works already you can see that we cannot mess with the second window or the second stage until this one's closed so this one's closed now and now we can mess with it right so this one also can be messed with no matter what because it's not owned it's not the owner of the new window here right so hopefully that makes sense here that's the um, modality option for um, stages so just to recap a modality is the basically how other windows you know interact with each other and then the first one's going to be the application modal which is going to be where um, no other windows can be messed with until that window is closed you know the window that has the modality of application window and then the next one's going to be window modal which is you cannot interact with the owner window until this window is closed right and then finally you have the modality none which is going to be basically the default where it doesn't matter what happens you can interact with any window you want to at any time so hopefully that makes sense for you but that's it for that so we can get rid of this you know just to clear up some space here um so the next thing is going to be well actually let's keep we need the let's keep that okay so the next thing is going to be styling, so we can style windows if we want to. So let's go ahead and go back here. So if you want to style a window or a stage, we can do new window dot init style, so we can initialize a style. And like before, it's basically an enumeration, so we could do sty uh, stage style dot stage style dot, and then we have um, about five options here: utility, unified, undecorated, decorated, and transparent. Okay. So let's see what all of them look like. So we have decorated, which um, should be the regular window. So we can change how the window appears. Basically, you'll see in a second. So yeah, this is going to be the basically a regular window here. It has the exit button, the you know the full screen button, and then the minimize button. Very standard. So this is going to be regular. That's basically the default value. So let's try something else. We'll do transparent. So this is basically going to make it. Um, invisible okay all right so let's see what that looks like and as you can see here only two windows are on the screen right now and the other one that we just created is invisible because it has the style of transparent right so if we go down here we can actually see that there are three windows except that one is invisible it's just not going to show up on the screen because it's transparent right pretty cool it's kind of cool style uh one of them still open here okay let's try utility and utility is very, um, that's a useful one in case you ever want to have like a simple um, tool pop up or like a settings menu. That's basically what I would use it for. So we have this weird little window here, which is basically going to be a window with only one option, which is going to be the exit button. Um, so that's a very simple window. And if you want an example of whenever that is used in a you know a normal application, if we go to back to file settings, that's a utility window because it only has the the exit option here right so that's a, just an example of how that would be used so we have another one here called undecorated 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 decorated there we go um so that is going to look also kind of weird so let's see here so this one also appears invisible for some reason so the undecorated one is invisible because it's only going to show the contents of the window it's not going to show the frame of the window for example the exit but all, like all of this right here is the frame but inside of here we have the white space which is the content of the window so whenever we put content in our window that's what it's going to look like basically that's an undecorated window it's going to be a regular window but with only the content not the frame okay hopefully that makes sense and then we also we have unified here which is going to look very similar to the other ones and what it's going to do basically is remove the border between the decoration area and the main content area so this is the decoration area right here the frame and this is the the content area so what it's going to do is rem um, remove the border so you, you can't notice it obviously in the empty application but that's what that is okay so that's a very simple that's how you set the stage um, the stage style for a stage that's how you give it styles in case you want your window to look differently than it does by default there's some other options if you want to look at them so we could do stage you know just choose a stage and then we can look at all the other methods there's a bunch of methods here that I haven't shown so there's like two front I mean two back and then two front which is basically going to send a a window to the front like if it's a, if we have one window behind another window and we call the back window to front the method for two front it's basically going to put that window ahead of the other window a very simple concept but that's what that does and um, we can do set always on top set full screen so if you want to make it full screen we could do that for the main stage because I have the main one selected here so let's try running this and see what happens and it's not full screen for some reason. 
Let's also let's look at what else we got. So we got close in case we ever want to close it. We could do set scene, which is where we're going to explore next episode and a few episodes behind that. Um, set max height, set max width, any min, min width, um, max width, whatever. Um, you yeah, know, you get the point, right? So that's how you do all of that. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this episode. That's how you create a stage. That's how you set, you know, some information for the stage, like the title, you know, and then you can change the other properties, like the width, the height, the position. And then that's how you set the, and then also you can set the modality of the window. And then finally, you can set the style of the window if you want to do that. Um, so that's pretty much it. That's how you do that. Um, if you have any questions about what I showed you today, just ask in the comment section below. I'll be glad to help you. Or what I would prefer that you do is join our Discord. There's a Discord link in the description below. So you can join our Discord and ask for help there. We have a bunch of people that will be willing to help you in case you ever need help. So just make sure you do that. And then also we have a link from all the code from today's episode in the description below. So if you want to see the code and in case you forget it in the future, just check it out in the description below. It's going to take you to our repository, and then you can see that, okay? And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more. Subscribe, and peace.